Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today here in Europe on a little 1v1 team action. We're on the red team, so we're liking our spot here in kind of the south central-ish, you know, it's Russia. Okay, it's Russia, I got it. <laughs> but uh, we don't have a lot of people starting near us. We unfortunately have a large coalition of red players starting in Germany. And uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work out just because there's more spread out black players. But we'll do our part to kind of prop up the team and make sure that we put a strong backscape or backstop on uh, any kind of teammates or any kind of enemies that are looking to push into any of our teammates see if we can slow them down but in the meantime we're just going to kind of be looking to you know again do our part grow our grow to our maximum potential so we're looking good in that aspect yes and then so let's we'll now hit our infinite growth right here and then just continue to grow so we do get the crown which is good news for us and i we do have a lot of land around us so uh, we're actually running out of troops and able to expand, but this should be the last one that we're able to get. Now, we do have a number of good black bots to attack around us. However, we do run the risk of being kind of shut down in that regard. So we're going to be a one to be a little bit aggressive in terms of pushing out just to make sure that we do have someone to attack at the end of it and, not, and we're not just boxed in. So uh, that was unfortunately not the best bot to attack. This is a good one to make up for it. And these two will be good to help out teammates even though we're kind of stealing from them but we want to push a little bit i do want to get a little bit more to the east i don't know if i really want to touch this void guy quite yet or if i want to just be more cognizant of the people to the east and so i think i do want to just focus in on the people to the east especially this giant player who's got so much land uh i think i really want to get him and just grabbing all these guys Having this guy to our back is gonna be a real challenge. Now I am trying to save up my troops here because as you can see, we don't have a lot, but now that we're touching the void, I'm not too concerned. Warsaw pack should be able to help us out if anything does occur. So let's just go ahead and save up here and we'll come back when we have troops. Okay, and we're back. We're attacking this high guy. We're getting a lot of our team's help on it. So we're gonna try and really make an effort out of getting this guy out of the way. It'll really relieve a lot of pressure off the players that are looking um, more centralized. And honestly, there's not a ton of black players left. The red team is doing a really good job. So getting this guy out of here will really do a lot for us. Protecting this bot down here will be also really good to make sure because he's actually a very big bot. Now we do still have the crown, which is wonderful news. And uh, we will we'll want to start pushing into player 73. I think that is a good target for us. But we're going to just kind of sit here and wait for just a hot moment just to build up a little bit more troops. And you know what we're actually going to do? We're going to push into, uh, into the... Um, the Nordic countries over here. This WSP guy has a lot of free reign on bots before he touches a player, and I do not want to give him the time to build up. So before we take on anybody else, let's get this guy out the way. I'm not really concerned about being attacked by anybody else, but as you can see, he's actually second on the leaderboard, so he is quite the threat. So we'll just, we'll really want to take him down. We get a lot of these bots as we are doing so. And let's just continuously go after this guy. Every time that we're about to run out of troops, I'm just going to reload it. It will help us get him out of here faster. And as he continues to attack our bots, he's just kind of hoping and praying that we stop attacking and gets a little bit more land. But nope, we've caught him off in time. So that is going to be the end of him. And now player 73 is our big target as once more. But we'll go ahead and finish off these bots real quick and then boat down. And uh, now we're at 3 million. So we're doing a pretty good job. We'll go ahead and grab that free land in Denmark. And do I want to attack Void or do I want to attack Player 73? Well, let's first get these islands. And, you know, Player 73 is pushing into that bot. Yeah, let's go ahead and get him. I think this is a good move. And we have, we're, we're going to be able to get some help from our teammates around us, although we really probably will not need it. There is a nice big attack. Yeah, everyone's in on this, so we have really able to knock him down at a pretty fast pace without having to worry about being full sense. There we go. Now we'll get Void out the way as he is the last black player on the board so he will make a nice easy target I'll just go ahead and grab that and boom okay so that's going to be the end of this game so nice easy win for the first game and uh as we just kind of sit around waiting for them to take out england we'll give some hearts out here good job everyone let them know that we're all boys here and uh we do have 99 percent we just need uh that uh screen to come up so we'll Oh shoot, okay, this guy left. Well, let's grab all this really quickly. There we go. And uh, where's the 99%? Where's that 99%? Ohio, don't leave. Okay, there we go. <laughs> GG's all involved and on to the next.
Okay, next up, we're doing a little bit of the Blood Arena. We're on, this is a team match. Uh, I, don't, I don't actually do a lot of these games, but in this map mode, but we're on the Scion team. So we're gonna be looking to find a good spot for us, not where we are, that's for sure. There does seem to be some uh, mean boys up there. Uh, a lot of teammates, red teammates up there. And uh, we'll just kind of hit our mark and grow. Now we unfortunately did spawn right next to one of our teammates and then there is a red person right next to us as well. So we're gonna need to play this carefully in attacking only the weakest of the weak bots and uh, kind of go from here. Now this red player is a little bit stuck just because he doesn't have anywhere else to go where we have lots of different color bots to attack. So we're gonna be in a good spot to take advantage of that. He is gonna be in a tough place to grow. So we already are gonna get a pretty big advantage in on him and we're surrounded by some good teammates. So that's good news for us, just having them kind of able to help us, we'll help them type scenario and uh, we'll just keep building upwards. Uh, yeah, well, our opportunity to go southwards has now gone away. So we'll just keep grabbing these bots to the north of us. There is a lot of free real estate up here. We do want to be a little bit careful. Uh, Peru is has the crown, but only has 3,000 troops. Brother, you need to conserve. I am not going to be able to save you. And as we are getting attacked by iOS user, this guy's also attacking the crown. I think I want to protect the crown more than I want to protect myself. I know, a little crazy, but we'll just go ahead and try and get both down a little bit. Just some warning shots. We got ABC helping us in the back. And now we can get this guy with a little bit more regard. So Peru does lose the crown and has never really regained his troops. I'm not sure if he's like attacking or not, but we have uh, fully protected him now. So whoever wants to go through him has to go through us first. And we do get a bit of a lag spike. A little bit unfortunate, that's okay. So here's our, our opportunity to grow again. With So I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here. I'm gonna go after these bots. Uh, I am not big enough to take on Prohibition. I know I don't have anywhere near the troops that he does, but um, we're gonna play the risk of grabbing this land and seeing what we can do. And maybe we can get some donations. So Prohibition has immediately started to attack us. I did wanna get this guy out of here before he took out this bot. That would be a pretty painful thing, but the bot does help us take it out. And now we protect our entire team in doing so abc is up there to help us take out abortion unfortunately annihilator on the red team is also attacking us that is a very sir can i get some money from you okay he actually did just give us a lot of troops thank you so much appreciate you and um now we're able to kind of withstand this so i think i'm going to help abc take out the um yellow player and see i think our combined forces will be enough now if uh i you know, I'm gonna take all just a little risk real quick and grab these red uh, bots real quick. Yeah, that'll be worth it. And we'll start attacking him back and then, yeah, okay, wow, he's attacking red. That's surprising. Red was like all in on his side. I did not think that he would betray him, but he did. So we're able to grab a lot of the land. We do get the crown. Oh, that was another yellow player, interesting. Okay, so he kind of threw for his teammate without recognizing it, but we're able to get a lot of this land, so we'll just keep grabbing land and building up. If uh, ABC looks like he's gonna be in serious trouble, then I'll join in, but I do wanna get Isaiah down before he has an opportunity to build up. And uh, there we go, so that is the end of the game. He does, unfortunately, full send ABC, but ABC <laughs> in return full sends him back, but that'll be the end of things. So GG's to all involved as we scrape up here. And uh, we'll go on, oh, we'll go on to the next one. Alrighty, last game of the day. Let's do some free for all here in the world. We'll go in our favorite little spot up here in Asia, see what we can make of things. Now, as we kind of look around, there are about 54, 64 players in this. Um, hold on, I gotta screw, yeah, it's 54. Okay, I was like, am I, I had to squint. Anyways, well, we like our spot. We were able to plant our flag down a little bit early, scare people away from us. So let's go ahead and start growing. And uh, as we hit these gross marks, we're uh, looking pretty good. So we do have some people around us. We do have the Dominican and this Russian player. They are our immediate neighbors. It's unfortunate that they both kind of came in at the last second, but that's gonna be okay. I think our spot's gonna work out. Uh, unfortunately for the Dominican, he does have another very close neighbor. So we do get the crown out of this and we have a, we absolutely got a ton of land. We, we are looking very strong. So let's go ahead and push into some weak bots as they uh, present themselves and see what we can do from here, making sure that we have the opportunity to maintain that. 
Now I do wanna push south as much as possible and into these guys to keep my options open as to who I can attack next. Now it is definitely dangerous, I will agree. Pushing this far south, it just is giving us a lot more neighbors, which is a little bit scary, but that is okay. We will take the risk that we'll have a lot more troops than everybody else, which from the moment of saying this, it does look like we will pretty comfortably have a, that many troops. So if anything, the Union Soviet, Soviet is gonna be the next, but let's get this Russian player out of here. He's got an absolute ton of land and not any troops to defend it. So that works out really well for us. Thank you, we will accept. I uh, will get some truces out here and then we will cut back when we have a little bit more of our troops. Okay, and we're back. We're attacking this player 558. He had, doesn't he utilize a lot of his troops to get rid of India. And I do want to get down here to the uh, Southeast Asia area, see if we can grab a little bit more of this other guy who is full sending for, for whatever reason, no one else is taking advantage of. So let's really push into that. The uh, Soviet Union has finally recognized what's going on. Maybe we can jump in on this as well. It doesn't look like we're gonna get down there. That is okay. We still were able to split the continent in half and grabbing a lot of land in the process. So we will just kind of come back again when we have, ooh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Should we attack? Yeah, let's get a little bit of an attack and especially cause, oh, he used a lot of troops to get that land. But we'll go ahead, save up, come back when we have more troops. Okay, and we're back. We're gonna start taking out the Soviet uh, player over here. We did, we're not quite at full percent and we also did send a little bit of a boat down into Australia to see if we can get down there in time before he gets taken out. That'd be an absolute coup for us to grab that entire continent for ourselves. But we do manage to knock this guy out of the way, which gives us a good power projection. Hopefully people will be nice to us and ignore us as uh, we, we conquer the rest. And uh, this boat we did send is just about to get there in time. We might go ahead and send another one. We'll see how it goes. Let's just actually send another one because that one's not strong enough. But let's grab the rest of this island. We are fighting for uh, control of the Pacific uh, Islands with uh, our green neighbor to the north. Oh my goodness, Antarctica is completely gone. So we are gonna really, really push through this guy, get him out of here. And as soon as we get low, we're gonna push down into Antarctica. That's gonna be a lot of land for us to get. That is very good news. So we'll just take out the rest of this. Now we are putting a big target on our backs, uh, but we'll go ahead and save up here for when we do get down to Antarctica. I wanna have as many troops as possible so we can push through iOS user without it really exposing ourselves. And here we go, we're getting to that point right now. Now we are at red interest, which is fantastic. So if we can push through this iOS user, he is second place. So this is gonna be pretty pivotal for us, is getting this guy down. Now it definitely is a risk trying to take this guy down while, um, we have so many neighbors, they could definitely attack us and he does have the crown. So let's see if we can steal that back from him. It is definitely gonna be a challenge. He is pushing back against us. That is to be under, that's understandable. Hopefully we can get some help in on this, but for right now, we're just gonna keep trying to push him down and uh, we do get the crown back. So that is great news. And uh, it does look like he's slightly getting attacked from somewhere else and we're able to really get a foothold on this island. Well, no, Patriarchy has a, uh, left so we're gonna go and grab his island and grab one down two just to kind of eliminate the number of people we have around us now if ios user starts to try and knock us off the island we're gonna really want to push back on that so we'll be cognizant of that and uh just kind of keeping on the island see if we can get a little bit more land advantage so that when we push through ios user uh he will hopefully get a little bit more damage and we do want to uh, ally with monkey empire and um, see if we can be friends with him. And I would also like to really take out this player over here, grab all of this corner of Asia so we don't have anybody to worry about. So let's go ahead and do that and start taking out this guy. And if, um, if iOS user looks like he's gonna kick us off, we'll throw a lot of troops at that. But for right now, let's just show up our borders really quickly. And uh, yep, he's trying to kick us off. So let's go ahead and get that back. And he's really trying to kick us off. I will, we will not lose all of our troops. So what we should do here, instead of constantly going doing this back and forth, is just boat real quick. And then uh, finish off over here. And we'll come back to that when our boat lands and we'll get those three islands and then be able to push down. The, the kind of concern of really trying to keep on that island is eventually both of us would lose all of our troops. And I'm afraid that Monkey Empire would then betray me. So uh, we're gonna take a little bit longer of a route, but hopefully a safer route. And here comes our boat right now. So really not too much of a delay. He's trying to boat into us, which is funny because I don't think he sees what's happening here. So let's grab these three islands and then we'll start pushing south into him. So now that we got the third one, let's go ahead and start to go. We'll tell uh, 
Oh, there we go. We got a good beachhead. So let's just keep going. He's going to really want to push us off. Hopefully, Monkey Empire will boat over or something to help me or just at least not attack me. So if we can get that, we'll be fine. Now, even if he does use all of his troops to push us off, we'll be right back at it again. So we do have some allies across the pond that are going to be able to help us out. And Monkey Empire does seem to be a little preoccupied. So it does look like chances are good of us getting all of this land to ourselves down here. Uh, okay, there's a full send on us. That's okay. We'll just wait for that to end and we'll reboat. And uh, boat, please. There we go. Okay. So now it's a race to take him down, but we're going to get all of Antarctica. Now, Monkey is getting pretty strong himself, but he is uh, busy fighting somebody else for the time being. So we're really taking our advantage up, up, and away. Now, we will. The chances of us having to fight both Monkey and Peru, who are both taking out this guy, are very strong. So what I think I'm going to do is, uh, depending on Monkey Empire's reaction, I'm just going to start pushing straight into Peru. Uh, Monkey has been kind of a bro this whole time, and uh, I have not seen much of Peru. So let's just go ahead and give this guy a bro check. Bro check for you, sir. Hello, hello. Are you my bro? And uh, I don't know. He's not giving out the bros. He's not giving out the bro vibes. But uh, we'll see. We'll give him some time. We'll give him some time. We'll, we'll trust. We'll trust. If we die from trusting, we die from trusting. I'd much rather die from trusting. So, um, does look like we're going to be good. Let's go ahead and get this player out the way just to grab some more of these islands. He's really expanded, but we'll take out his big power base right there. And then these boats will land and we'll start working through Peru. And there we go. We have landed. Now, Monkey Empire has been asking us to attack Peru, so hopefully he wants to get involved in this and potentially take North America. I really don't want him to boat over towards South America. That would definitely be a little bit harder for us to kind of come back from. Uh, he could definitely take a lot of the land and then we'd be in a tough place in order to take him down. I think that advantage would then shift to him and we would be on the back foot. So we'll go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive and just keep attacking on the half mark up here. You do see Monkey is attacking is sending a boat, so we'll see how successful that is. I don't want to waste all of my troops. I do want to stay above Monkey Empire just in case he does betray me. But uh, we'll just keep pushing in on this. Uh, we're making some progress, even though it doesn't look like a lot. Peru is utilizing a lot of troops in order to kind of keep me at bay. And Monkey Empire has landed. Hopefully he does do an attack, thank goodness. Now it is going to be a bit of a challenge to see who can get to North America the fastest and I do think it, Monkey Empire does have a little bit of an advantage on me but he does leave and we had the perfect time attack so that is absolutely huge for us so we are going to be able to cut him off in his attack so we're going to be able to secure all of North America which means that we will secure the victory for ourselves there's nothing he can do there's no, not going to be an opportunity for him to backstab and there we go so nice little victory for us we'll go ahead and grab some of these islands here and uh We'll go ahead, yeah, we'll grab this, grab the bigger ones, and then I think we'll just go ahead and peace out. I don't really want to attack Monkey Empire again. He's kind of been a bro, even though we didn't super give him a chance. To, he, you know what? He did have a chance to backstab us, and he chose not to. So we'll grab these big islands, and then we'll look for the peace and get you out of here. You, you Get out of here. I can't believe I actually didn't knock this guy down all the way, but we'll get him out of here and then send some boats into these islands over here, the islands of Japan and whatnot. And then well, I think we'll peace out. Well, we'll grab a few more. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I made my point and uh, we'll look for the peace button. And that'll be the end of the video, guys. We'll just wait for this piece. But thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. Hey, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you really like the video, uh, subscribe for more content. I put out videos every day and I'll see you guys in the next one.